<sighs> hey guys, what's up, Sai here, and today I'm here for another video with you guys. Um, today this phone has been released a month ago, almost. This is the Mizus Pro 7, and there's a Mizus Pro 7 Plus too. It's a bigger version of it. Mm, more phone fact. Mm, smartphone manufacturers are doing that these days. Now let's get into this. You might have saw in the title already. This thing comes with two screens. That's amazing. That, that's just mind blowing. But we'll be talking in this video. Is it just a gimmick? Or will they use it a lot? Let's get into this. Now, I've seen a lot of. I've seen everything Apple Pro make a video about this. That's the only one I've seen until now. It shows time, weather, steps, and you can take a selfie with the dual lens rear camera, which is pretty cool, but not necessary, as you don't need it, but it's still a cool feature to have. Um, this phone looks absolutely amazing. It comes in red and black. It has a fenetre display. It's basically a stunning AMOLED display. The AMOLED display is on the back and the front. They both look very, very nice. So you won't be disappointed with the display, I'm telling you right now. Um, another thing is the camera. The dual camera is amazing. It has very nice uh, night image quality. And it, it's just an overall very nice phone and very nice camera. But... It, it does have uh, some things. It's a smaller company, so you really can't trust it, I'd say. Maybe if it gets a little bit more. It's a Chinese-made company. The design is very nice. Um, it's not bezel-less, but it comes in 5.2 inches or 5.7 inches. Um, it has the physical home button. No edge-to-edge display like the S7, S6, or S8. Now, for the specs. Um... Pro 7 and Pro 7 Plus. I'm going to focus on the Pro 7 this time. Pro 7, you can only get 64 gigabytes, but on the 7 Plus, you can get a 64 or 128. But the 7 Plus has more colors, but it doesn't have a red. It is sort of taking on Apple, I don't know. But 64 gigabytes is very nice to have on a phone. Um, 3000 milliamp hour battery, that's the same as SA. Resolution 1920 by 1080, so 1080p, 5.2 inch display. Super AMOLED, so still pretty good. Helio P25 processor on the Pro 7 and Helio X30 on the 7 Plus. That's an amazing, amazing processor. 4 gigabytes of RAM on the base and 6 on the other one. So, as you can see, upgrade to the 7 Plus as you want a bigger screen too. Uh, F Dual camera, 12 megapixels on both Sony. Um, now, let's look at the it has a power button, M touch, flash camera, rear display. The rear display is also very nice. Um, two one point nine inch, two forty by five thirty six AMOLED, and it's very nice. PPI is three hundred seven. But if you do upgrade to the bigger version, you do get a twenty five sixty by fourteen forty panel on the front, so that's five eighteen PPI, which is better. But overall. This is not, I, I, I don't know, it's not that expensive either, I mean, Pro. for, oh my god, I have to convert this thing, let's just say it's around, the Pro 7 is around 440 and the 7 Plus is around 550? 600, so it's still a budget phone. It's coming with the OnePlus category, and I feel like this does beat the OnePlus. But yeah, this is—I mean, for the price, it's not a gimmick, and it does. It's like a—you see the Gear Fit 2, but my review of the Gear Fit 2. It's like the Gear Fit 2 display on the back. I mean, for—I mean, for the price, it's not a gimmick. So yeah, that's pretty much it. They're not charging you that much for the thing. It's really nice to have. You can be like, oh, guys, you only have one display on your phone? I have two. Um, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you next time.